Hi, I'm Eliana Fuentes. I'm a mental health therapist. I do online therapy, online counseling for cases of mental health issues and mental disorders. So, sa panahon ngayon ng pandemic, ay nakikita natin na marami tayong loss, marami tayong grief. Where marami sa mga loved ones natin ay namamatay, um, nagkakaroon ng sakit. So yung grief or pighati, ito ay isang natural, normal, emotional response as a result of a loss. Kapag nawawalan tayo, whether that's through a death of a loved one or any other loss, ay pwede tayong makaranas ng grief. So it doesn't necessarily have to be from the death of a loved one. That loss can be like loss of jobs, loss of, you know, even the sense of connection. So any sort of loss can bring about this sensation, this response, this feeling of grief. So when we're trying to support or comfort someone that is grieving, gusto po natin ay ang pinakamahalagang ibigay natin sa kanila ay yung presence natin. So a lot of times, being available with our presence is the best thing that we can offer them. So kung kailangan nila ng tulong, nandun tayo, pwede rin tayo mag-offer ng praktikal na tulong kung may mga chores or errands silang gawin. Minsan kahit sa ganung paraan ay natutulungan natin sila. So meron tayo mga do's and don'ts maybe of what to say and what not to say. So gusto natin iwasan siguro yung mga empty words. Minsan kapag sinasabi lang natin condolence, condolence, condolence ay uh, hindi na masyadong nakakatulong yun sa tao. So, siguro yung iba pang mga hindi pwedeng sabihin ay nako, uh, mawawala din yan, that too shall pass or hindi ka pa ba nakaka-move on? Minsan kung question pa natin yung mga tao kung nakamag-move on na sila, kung may closure na sila. So that's something that we don't want to demand from people because again, there's no timeline in grief. So I think isa nating mahalaga ding maalala ay hindi tayo nandun para alisin yung pain nila. Hindi tayo nandun para ayusin yung nararamdaman nila. But we're there to really sit with them through the pain, through the grief, and be there for them. I think it's also in good to encourage things that would help them. So whether that's spiritual support, whether that's encouraging them to seek professional help, may mga options na pwedeng gawin in their time if they're ready to be able to seek out those resources para makatulong din sa kanila. For people that have lost someone in this pandemic, ay mahalagang maalala nila that there are other sources of comfort. We may not have the ideal way of mourning the loss, but your loss is still valid. The grieving and emotions that you're feeling are still very much real and true, and you are allowed to feel what you're feeling. You're allowed to feel frustrated. You're allowed to feel all that loss. And of course, it doesn't stop there. There's also hope. Whether that's in the form of family members around you, the community around you, and of course, you looking to God. A personal relationship with Christ really does help as well in getting that hope that maybe we can't find.